Senate debating one of the most controversial proposals of the General Assembly session. Yeah, the governor endorsed paid sick days bill as being fought by the state's major business groups as being a job-killing mandate. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live from our Hartford newsroom where he's been monitoring the debate. Mark? Hi, Sonia and Darren. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. This uh, proposal would affect businesses that have 50 or more employees and would allow those employees to accrue up to a five-day maximum of paid sick days per year. The state controller has estimated that there are at least 300,000 workers in Connecticut who do not get sick pay. If they stay home sick or to take care of a sick child, they don't get paid, and many of them can't afford that. Most of them are women, and most of those women are single moms. This is a critically important bill for working women. For that and other reasons, before the debate on this bill began in the Senate today, Governor Malloy personally urged some senators to vote for it. I made it very clear throughout the campaign, and I was pounded by my opponent uh, during the campaign uh, for my position in support of paid sick leave. I, I think it's a, uh, a public health uh, policy that uh, is worthy of our support. And at least one Republican is breaking ranks and supporting this. I think as a matter of public policy, we should encourage people to stay home and get better if they're feeling sick and they have a chance of uh, getting other people sick. But most of the other Republicans in the Senate have lined up firmly with the business community against this. It creates an environment which is going to have a very chilling effect on job creation and economic growth. By narrowing this to have it only apply to people who come into direct contact with others in their work, supporters thought they had made it better. But the state's largest business lobby says it has made it worse. Every manufacturer in this state probably has a secretary, a receptionist, a bookkeeper, a data entry processing clerk, something yeah, of the like. Most people would fall under it. You got it. But the sponsors of this bill say that is not true, that all people in the manufacturing sector would be exempt from this business mandate. All headcounting indicates that this bill will pass by one vote. That's all it takes is one vote. If it moves on to the House and is passed there and the governor signs it, as he says, he will, it would become the first state in the country to have such a law. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.